Hello and welcome to mymusiccourse.com So today I'm just going to show you how to restring a tenor banjo. Now the way I'm going to restring is applicable to most other folk instruments or acoustic instruments so uh, your guitar, mandolin, five string banjo, bazooki, all of them uh, you can use this stringing technique on them. Okay so I'll just show you the stuff we're going to use I've got a electronic tuner here, this is a clip-on, you can use a tabletop as well then I've got a pair of string cutters or some wire cutters or pliers will also do the job and then of course I've got my loop end strings okay it doesn't really matter what gauges you want to use uh, or whether you use nickel or bronze that'll be something I'll talk about in another blog but for the time being oops I've got one on the floor okay so I'm restringing the E so I've got an 11 gauge over here so I'll tell you the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to wind the string so grip it at the tuning peg behind pluck the string and you'll be able to hear the tension go out of it now the reason for that is because we're, we're then going to take our string cutters and we're going to cut the string off okay and then unwind it up here at the tuning peg now the reason obviously you take the tension off is because if you cut it while there's full tension on there's a good chance that it can swing round and hit you in the eye or somewhere else which would be quite painful so there we go take the string off and you want to roll that up and put it in the bin because you the last thing you want is for you to stand on broken strings because it can hurt quite a lot I'll just show you down here as well so here at the tailpiece we're just gonna pull the string out from, from there and take off the loop okay Next, we're going to take our, our duster and we're just going to wipe down and clean any areas where the string would normally sit and that we can't get to. Okay, so I'm just going to dust the tailpiece and the bridge. And then I'm going to clean along the fingerboard here. If you've got some linseed oil, you can put that down on your fingerboard. Give it a blow to make sure you get any fabric from the duster off. And then again at the headstock, just clean those bits there. Okay, very nice. Now, taking your peg, the hole in the tuning peg, you want it to be facing directly to the nut where the string's going to sit. Okay, and once you've got that set up, take your string, and I'll show you here, I've got it wound up. I'll unwind it. Oh, it's all over the place. When you get your your string, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a loop end there. I'm just going to put a small small bend, maybe a little bit more than that, in the edge of the string. And what that does is it makes it a touch easier to get on at the tailpiece. So here we are back at the tailpiece. Now before I, I try and put the loop end on, I'm just going to get the string. It's difficult for you to see, but I've got a hole here my tailpiece and what I'll do is I just need to get the string underneath there and into that hole there we go now put the loop end on to the oops put the loop end on there and pull the whole thing up to get a bit of tension on it and then you can just put the string into the groove here on the bridge obviously you won't have the trouble of spinning the banjo around okay so here we go so Pull the string so that it's got a bit of, bit of tension on it. Put it into the groove on the nut and put your finger over it. Okay, that's step one. Take the string, what you've got here, and thread it through the hole in the tuning peg, like so. There it goes. Oh, I'm out of the way as well. Sorry for my hand. There it goes. It's going through the hole. Grip it at the other side and pull it through. Okay, now you want to take the slack just by turning the peg. So I'm going clockwise here. There we go. You can see it's taking a little bit of tension there. I should be able to let go of the string now without anything happening to it. So, what to do next? This is where it gets a bit more comprehensive. So, we're here on this nut. I'm going to take the string. I'm going to turn it round. Okay, you see I've got it in my hand and it's facing away from my body and what I'm going to do very carefully I'm going to thread it 
underneath itself. So there's the string that I've put on. Here's the loop and the string's now going underneath and I'm going to grip it with this hand you'll see me pull it through. You see that? It gets pulled. I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, and now I've got the string underneath itself. I'm going to twist it over the top and then back around the tuning peg. I'm keeping it pulled tight. It's popped out of the nut there. I'm going to put it back. So now what I've done is I've created a loop. I'm just going to wind some tension on it so that I can let go and then I'm going to try and show you. So if you can kind of see there where the peg is, I doubt you can see that, but I've created a little loop that the string's caught up in. Now the advantage of doing that over stringing up like a normal guitar is it, it should help the string hold its tension and hold its tuning. Okay, that's why I would use this method. Now obviously there's no tension on the string yet, so we'll just wind some on, going clockwise. Let's get our tuner. Clip it on, turn it on. Now as you can see, we've just come round to where we put the string through on the peg. We're going to make sure that the string's winding underneath. Okay. Almost there. Good, there's E. Okay, so next is we're going to stretch the string out. So if I can show you, here's the is the main bit of my banjo. With my right hand I'm going to grip the string, grip underneath the string, and then my left hand's just going to sit on top of it and press down, and my right, right hand's going to pull up. And we'll do that three times, one, two, three. Then we'll move the banjo along to the middle of the neck and we'll do the same thing. Left hand goes over the top, right hand grips underneath the string. Now don't pull too hard or you'll snap it. One, two, three. Okay, and then again here, one, two, three. Now if you go back to your tuner, you see I've lost about a semitone and that's, that's what I've pulled out of the string. So I'll just wind that semitone back on. So I'm back to E. Now I'm just going to do it again. Here we are, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now every time you do this, hopefully you'll be taking more of the slack out of the string and you'll lose less. There you can see I've lost barely anything out of off the note. That's where the tension's gone out of it. Obviously the reason you do this is so that it doesn't happen while you're playing and you slip out of tune. It means you can totally restring and then play instantly and not be worried about losing any of the uh, losing your tuning while you're playing. So next Let's get rid of that. Take your string cutters and we're going to leave about an inch on the string and then we're going to cut it off. Discard that. And then here, that little bit, we're just going to turn it round. So swing it right round and squash it down with your fingers and then give it an extra squeeze with your pliers or your string cutters. Now I've heard guys say that just putting this turn in it is another way of helping it hold its tuning but I, I wouldn't know. But I do it anyway. Of course, the other advantage is that you don't jab on it when you're tuning up, or they don't rattle, or they get stuck inside your bag or your case. So, a couple of these strings are out of tune, but that's that's the whole method to the stringing up of the banjo, so that it should be um, holding its tuning there, and you don't have to put tons and tons of winds on it, uh, and it can be quite quite quick once you've got the hang of it. Okay, excellent stuff. So join us again on mymusiccourse.com for another blog some other time. Thank you.